Red Hawks. Uh, joining us today, co uh, head coach Chuck Martin, wide receiver Jack Sorensen, kicker Sam Sloman, and defensive lineman Doug Costin. Coach, we'll let you open with a comment. Um, obviously, heck of a football game. Um, it's certainly one of those games no one deserves to lose. Uh, it was a one score, one play. No one could ever breathe, though, at least I couldn't. It was just a grind, but we played a lot of those. It kind of felt normal for me. I told the kids after I'm down 14 10, I said, it feels kind of at home, guys. It's just kind of right where we're kind of a little bit ugly. Make a couple plays here and there. They probably feel like they should be up by more, but they're not up by more. So this is when we kind of find a way to make one more. I, I like to say it's when we pounce and really take two. It's kind of like when we find a way to make one more play than they do and try to find a way to win. So testament our kids and coaches. They hung in there. Central was awesome. Certainly one of those games, like I said, no one deserved to lose. What they did this year with the turnaround is crazy amazing. Um, so uh, um, it, was, it, was, it was awesome to play against them, play that team, play that staff. Um, so it was a lot of fun. We were very, very, very happy we won it. Um, but I, was, I, been, I wouldn't feel much different towards my team. If, if they'd have beat us by two, I'd have felt the same way towards my team. I know the fans would, but I know I would. Yes, Coach, obviously this is more than just a one-year thing. This has been a multi-year process for you. How special is it to finally get this national championship? Yeah, no, it's awesome. It's awesome for the kids. It's awesome for all the people that put in the time. And they put in so much time. Our coaches, our trainers, our strength staff. There's so many people that have have really, really <laughs> tried to help these kids every step of the way so that they could they could do what they're capable of doing. So kind of validates. We know we've been pretty good. We've been 6-2, six 6-2, and 6-2. Two, six and two, six and two. We're now 22 and four when our starting quarterback starts and finishes a game the last 26 MAC games, which a lot of people go, oh, I didn't know that. Well, you're not paying attention. That's why I'm here to tell you. So, and we, you know, we got the best record in the MAC the last four years. So, and again, the beautiful thing is we don't think we're better than anyone. We just, we just think we're as good as everyone. You know, we, we got to play. We, we won five, six games this year by one more play than they did. So, um, but it's pretty, pretty awesome and kind of, kind of, they get the recognition now that I think they deserve for a couple of years. Coach, how great is it to have that trophy in your hands? Is it heavy? Uh, I didn't have it in my hands yet, so I assume it's heavy. I hope it's heavy. Um, it looks nice, whether it's heavy or not. Um, I think I missed most of it talking to some Central Michigan players, so they got a lot of good players I want to talk to after the game. So, On the riser, uh, co Coach, when that, and, and for the players too, um, what Coach first said, when the clock goes to zero and you know you've won that championship, what's going through your mind? <laughs> Time to breathe. Thank God. Thank God it's over. Thank God it's over. What a season. I was, I was crazy proud of the guys. I just I just want to kind of get through all this and just kind of go sit and do this for about uh, 15 minutes. Like, so it just, it's, my wife literally, we played Buffalo in a knockdown drag out. My wife, I walked through the door and my wife is my wife. She's like, I, I can't take it more like that. I literally told her that day and I told the team the next day, I said, we're either going to lose a lot of games this year or they're all going to be like that. That's who we are. We, we are young, young, young on one side of the ball. We got good ST, we got a chance to be good on defense, we got a chance to do enough on offense in the next eight weeks, that's what we did. When we needed something from our offense, I got it. Second half, we need a drive, we get it. Second half, we need to drive down, kick a pole, use time. We, it's like whatever we need, halftime reporter asked me like, you need to put some drives together. I'm like, <laughs> you don't know us very well, we're not putting no drives together. I said, we need to score quickly. I said, that's what we do, we need to strike it. We, I said, we need points, we don't need drives. We're not gonna go on four or five drives, that's not us. Next thing you know, we had a long one to James, we had a screen to Jack. And I looked at it, I'm like, hey, there we go, three plays, we're in the end zone, that's, that's us, that's Miami football. But then at the end of the game, when we need a six minute drive, we get a six minute drive. And then you need a stop, get a stop, you need a big kickoff return, you need a big punt fake stop, you need a big field goal. Like, everybody's pitched in all year and it's, we're, we're this much maybe better than probably 10 MAC teams, maybe. And maybe we're this much worse, but these kids are just find a way to get out victory. Doug, your feeling with the clock at zero? My feeling, it was just surreal. I didn't, I didn't really believe it at first. Then after it came to it, kind of, it's everything that me, Jack Sloman, our whole senior class, when we came in, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to be the team. I'm not a part of that. I just agree. Okay. Well, Coach Mark recruited us at all sports, but he saw something in all of us that maybe the time. Part, part. <laughs> he saw something in us that we didn't really see maybe at the time, but as we got here, we all came together. We all said to each other, like, we want to be the team that took the, the recruiting class that turns Miami around, brings it back to how it was in the old days. I feel like at winning this championship, that, I don't know about these guys, but for me, Definitely feels like we left a mark here and that we came here and did what we said we were going to do. On the right, go ahead. Coach, uh, you've won Division II national championships, uh, obviously Division II conference championships. You've won the conference championship in the East before, and now you win this. What quality, what thread is there between all those teams that you've noticed over the years between these winners? And is there any? Is there anything that, that, that yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I mean, you got enough talent because you don't win championships out of town. So 
that's that's always it. You know, you got to have enough talent. The, the quality of those guys, they're all tough. They're all mentally tough. They're all physically tough. And they are crazy, crazy to committed to one another and crazy committed to trying to do things the right way. And this team, to to another level of that, because we we weren't as talented as some of the other championship teams I had. We were crazy young, you know, crazy young. We're playing true freshmen at really, really key positions, and they're battling their tails off. And like we talked yesterday, and then older guys are taking them on the wing and helping them battle, you know. And then it's like OD and special teams. Well, we, everybody always says that. That's, oh, it's offense, defense. Well, 2019 Red Oak, it was OD and special. We needed all three phases every week to give every ounce of effort. So. Um, this is probably the best of the ones I've ever had of championship teams and the ones, and I'm proud of all of them, but this is just how these guys, how do you win all these close games? I don't know, like it's mind boggling to me, really. Chronic lettuce over. Um, my wife couldn't take it six weeks, but I'm not sure I can take many more of these. Jack, how big of a turning point was that uh, touchdown for you? Uh, huge, I mean, uh, huge. Yeah, <laughs> it was huge, but I mean, I think it was just kind of like the formation of the season. Uh, we don't have good guys, we don't have good drives, and kind of the defense can really beat us, and we get a good play. We finally get stuff going, and it's just kind of the culmination and kind of the representation of the whole entire season is that drive. Um, it's just, it, was, it was awesome. I, mean, I, I don't really even know what I'm thinking right now. It's kind of like a surreal experience, and I haven't even been able to process my thoughts or anything, so it's just pretty cool. But <laughs> so you made, When you made that last field goal, your teammates picked you up, you know, you've got the crowd chanting your name. What's going through your mind at that point? What was that like? Um, <laughs> just ready for the last 30 seconds to be over. Uh, you know, <laughs> I had all the faith in the world on our defense, but... Same as me, bro. <laughs> and again, like, I never kicked that field. I've been in that situation 30 times. Maybe not 30, but I've been in that situation a lot. I never kicked that field. I never, like, it's just like, how good are ST? Like, you could not just, just, I, I told myself after Western Michigan, like, just, if it's in doubt, go with the special teams. Like, somebody wanted me to take a long field goal, and there's a couple of, a couple of coaches that were surprised. Like, I'm just going to pin them. I'm not gonna take a six here because our pooch team's good. Like it was just weird because to me it's like you get a block kicked on the return for touchdown, you're kicking themselves, you know. But it's just like just keep doing the plan is OD and special teams. When it's time for special teams, send special teams out there, you know. So and then he makes a kick and then he kicks it out of the end zone because we talked about well then they we're gonna have to defend a kickoff and they're gonna put Pimbleton back there and or or the Lewis kid like their two returners are electric. And it's like I'm thinking like make the kick, kick out of the end zone. I guess like you say, you know, just keep relying on your best players and obviously our best three guys for the whole time is, is huge today, you know. Hunting, huge today. Sloman, huge today. Chuck, I haven't talked to Harry since I've been with you in life. Um, looking at Tommy Lazaro, you talked about him before the game, their, their backup quarterback they yeah, bring in uh, with I, You know how long so. we practice to defend when he comes to the game and how often we, like, that's the worst part of the heat. No, I said, no one stopped that package all year. We're going to stop it. We've got the plan, blah, blah, blah. And obviously, we didn't have the plan, like, so, so, so explain, I mean, how, how, why, why did you not have the plan? What was the reason that he was able to beat you, and, and what makes it so good and maybe he's done for you as well? Too much. We practice that too much. Like, um, I have to look at it. They just, they do, they do one thing, they do a lot of things that they don't think. They run not too many plays, but so many formations and so much movement, and they, so it's, you can't just rep it with you two guys have to do this, because they always make somebody else do the job. And you're trying to, you know, now we got only 13, so we got only, we got 68 plus our old plays, you know, and we're trying to run all of them, and, I don't know, I'll have to look whether the plan or the execution of the plan or just when you run the quarterback is really hard and they did, I mean, that, that package, that was, that was very frustrating for me today that we didn't defend it very well at all. Your thoughts on that package? I uh, definitely got to give him a lot, a lot of credit. He came in, he did what he did all season. Like Coach Martin said, we did. Our big thing was we're going to stop that. No one really has. And it kind of sucks knowing we didn't, but whether it be from him just being that good of a player or just maybe sometimes we didn't fit our gaps or we didn't read our keys, whatever it was, whatever it was, he got, uh, he got free and I got to give credit to him. Um, coach, you guys were a little bit stifled in the run game, but you were able to get it going through the air. And Jack, you could probably answer this too, but what did you guys see out of Central Michigan's defense that you guys were able to exploit through the air? Um, I don't think really anything, di anything different, like any anything happened where we were like, able to notice something and make, make an adjustment or anything. I think it was just the confidence at halftime. Um, our coach, Coach Israel, just came in and Coach Wolfo came in and just talked to us and he was like, yo, I got the ultimate faith in you guys, this whole team does. And uh, when you have that type of support and that type of confidence, um, it doesn't matter if you make or, or if you make the play or don't make the play because you know you got a bunch of guys that um, are right there to pick you back up. Um, and so it gives you so much just extra confidence when you go out and try to make a play and, or when, when you know you have to make a play. So it, that, that was pretty much the main difference. Coach, Ben Zetlick from CM Life. You mentioned already 
obviously that special teams has been very important this game and throughout the season, but what did Central Michigan do today that went wrong for them and how were you able to take advantage during this time? Yeah, I, I know we, I mean, it's not, they can't stop Sloman from making field goals. They can't stop Kramer from putting the ball good. They can't stop Sloman from kicking out of the end zone. So some of the phases, it's just we got good kickers and they do a great, they take weapons away. And then I'd have to look at the kickoff. Obviously, we gave Mo a seam, and Mo's an electric returner, has been an electric returner, been an electric offensive player for us his whole career. I know there was a big block early that created some space, and then I'd have to, you know, I don't, I mean, they've been good on special teams all year. We've been good returning, and we, we beat them on that play. That, so the rest of it, just we got good, our punter punts it high with Hank Tosh, Force and Kirk, that's the best a returner can do, you know. So a lot of us have a good specialist, and then obviously we, we always talk about giving Mo a chance, but give him a little bit, he's electric, and obviously that's, that's it. That's the margin of victory, you know. That's that play you forget it was the first play of the game, but obviously we needed every point we got. For Sam, how nervous were you when you came up with these big kicks? Obviously, you've been making kicks, you know, all uh, all year. The OU one was a big one. You know, at this point, do you get nervous? Or are you just confident that it's going to go through the uprights? Um, at this point, I'm pretty confident. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, we don't even practice. It. Practice it's so annoying. <laughs> I said, it's not fun watching Sloman because I told you after day. I said, if we go watch Sloman kick 30 in a row through the uprights again, then you're going to realize how not good you are at your job and how good he is at his. I said, it's demoralizing that he never, you know. So we just like, it's like a one, he makes the first line, okay, let's move on. So he's pretty confident right now. Pretty yeah. decent for a second team kicker. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, you know, we've just been in that situation before, and uh, we've got a great team. Everybody does their job. And, and every. I don't think people realize how important a snapper and a holder is or how important the O-line and the wings are. And they do their job every time, so they make it really easy for me. So I just know when I go out there that I have a pretty easy setup, and it's kind of like kicking off the sticks. He also has a steely-eyed focus every time he goes out there. I've noticed that. Steely-eyed. And he's trimmed down those sense of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Which you appreciate because it was a little bit embarrassing when he wanted me to see the chuck because I chucked you get out there. Now he actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys may have a chance to discuss it yet, but what are your celebration plans for tonight? Sleep for me. I'm sleeping. You know, just get back to campus. Just enjoy everyone. Enjoy being around each other. I know everyone's going to be together. And, you know, not sure after that. I don't, I don't know. I've really talked to anyone about it yet. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.